Today, SpaceX launched NASA's newest tool in the hunt for exoplanets. It promises to reveal as many as 20,000 new exoplanet discoveries over the course of its initial two-year mission. Known as the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, or TESS, this satellite is in some ways designed to carry on the work that the Kepler spacecraft started, in that it will look for dips in brightness that occur when exoplanets transit in front of their stars from our perspective. Geared mainly for closer, dimmer star systems, such as red dwarfs within about 300 light years from Earth, this satellite will cover significantly more sky than Kepler did, by a factor of 400 in fact, or about 85% of the sky using an array of wide field cameras. Once found, interesting exoplanets can then be observed by ground based telescopes, allowing scientists to work out things like the mass, size, density, and orbital period of these exoplanets. But there is also the upcoming James Webb Space Telescope, which promises to be able to collect data on the atmospheres of these worlds and determine whether they are habitable or even inhabited by life by looking for chemical signatures of gases that can be created by it, such as oxygen and methane. What might be most exciting about this mission, however, is that as a kind of continuation of Kepler as a photometer that measures variations in the brightness of stars, it holds promise for additional research and even serendipitous discoveries. Kepler ended up doing far more than simply watching for exoplanet transits. It also yielded significant information on variable stars and protoplanetary disks. And quite a few odd things were seen in the Kepler light curves, including KIC 8462852 or Tabby star, which remains an ongoing mystery to this day. Might Tess also find other strangeness in the universe? It seems likely. Also noteworthy about this launch is the rocket itself. During this launch, SpaceX will attempt to recover the fairings from the rocket. They have been working on this as a method of making the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy even more reusable, and thus dropping launch costs even more, something SpaceX has kept as the centerpiece of their business model. The more you drop the launch costs, the easier it is to get into orbit, the asteroids, Mars, and beyond. Thanks for listening, I am science fiction author and futurist John Michael Godier, currently getting over what could be the world's first example of an exo-cold. It was bad. Maybe not of this earth bad. Or maybe I'm just being whiny. Well, back to the orange juice, and be sure to check out my books at your favorite online book retailer and subscribe to my channel for regular in-depth explorations into the interesting, weird, and unknown aspects of this amazing universe in which we live.